But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of K Fame, the wrestling show for us by us. I am your host, Will Farrow, and of course we have. Well, that's why I say my name. My name is Shinadu. Well, I don't have an accent. My name is Shinadu, guys. What's going on? A uh, fan since '98, man. We finna get this cracking, man. It's hard to be here. K Fame, K Fame, K Fame, and <laughs> I love it because it's Zoom, so it just be sounding like if you're looking like news reports. Take it away. <laughs> Back to you. Oh, hey, man. Thank you, man. It's good to be <laughs> That slight delay. Yep. That's like that. That's it. <laughs> But yeah, man, back again with another episode. Um, as y'all know, like if you saw the last episode, we were uh really WWE based and stuff like that. We're gonna be touching on that today as well. But uh, like we said, we like to go, we, we we like to go all around the world of this wrestling industry, man. Whenever we hear some new stuff, some good things coming, we want to talk about it. And so now we are moving into uh the the, the newest industry, the new the newest uh what, what would you the newest brand on the block. AEW. <clears throat> All Elite. All man. Elite Wrestling. All elite. Whoo, All. All Elite. They all elite. Should everybody there's everybody there's elite. Yeah. Not not just a few. All. All. Even even the refs are all elite. All elite, man. You know what it's like to be a all elite ring setup person? That's man, that's that's hard. Now we're gonna say it's off quick, okay? I do not dislike AW, okay? I don't, all right. But my thing is my my stance on it will always be I feel some people they give it too many passes in terms of certain things that go on on the on, on terms of the show that people just oh well it's okay. No, you don't give them same pieces of WWE, but you give these passes to AEW on a lot of these different things. Some of these programs that got running are crap. All right, I'm not even going like front, I'm not a fan of them. I don't get it. I felt like they had characters that they're supposed to develop that they haven't developed yet. Um, that to me, I felt I was reserving judgment until the brought the crowds back. So I felt like maybe they were just trying to put a pause on things because I understand certain storylines. You need certain crowds to work out. But like the reason why they had to put Broken Matt Hardy back on shelf because it really doesn't work without a live crowd. It mm-hmm. didn't work. So I understood it. But there were still certain things I'm like, I just... I didn't get it. And like watching Double or Nothing, I was like, okay, the live crowd's back. Let's see who they feel they their stars are. Let's see who they push. Certain things I was like, okay, I get it. Other things I was like, oh. but um, <laughs> we'll get into it. Will I'll let you leave? <laughs> I mean, bro, you you like you we are we in the same car on the same highway of this thought process yeah. towards AEW, man. Of course, that's yeah. what we starting off with. AEW uh, recently um, last Sunday had their uh, pay per view that pretty much kind of put them on the map. Uh, their their ne- their next rendition of it, which was Double or Nothing. Uh, Double or Nothing. Their first one was something that put them on the map. Got everybody talking about them, um, and you know it, it, it was. It wasn't the same. I'm just gonna be honest. It was not the same as the first uh, double or nothing. Uh, like you said, man. I think outside of the initial excitement of new competition coming, people coming in, seeing these people signed, it's like, okay, you've had about what? Let's say what two years to to, to get it together. Two years. Oh, I I have no idea what is the main story as far as i'm concerned chris jericho has been in a feud with himself for the last two years and whoever is in the the inner circle and i have not seen anyone from the inner circle progress outside of just being behind chris jericho talking i forgot jack swagger was even in that group let alone you know what? two tag people who <laughs> have not I, I, to say you're in the inner circle, how have none of y'all fought for a title yet? So the, the, there's that. Then uh, as I and I and I want you to uh, to, to to give to give this part because you you said this very well, and especially when it comes to Cody Rhodes, we're gonna talk about Cody Rhodes in, in, in just a little bit too. But as the fact of there's two shows on one show. Yeah, absolutely. Um, to me. I feel like there's Cody's part and then there's the Bucks part. 
and then there's and also to this what and then there's whatever Kenny's doing. He's usually tied into what the Bucks are doing, but they're not. They they seem very disconnected. Like nothing. The show doesn't flow to me. It feels like I'm watching two different shows. Like you're like we'll take a break. Like Cody's stuff has more you know boxing fight feel to it. Whatever you know the storylines. It's so differently, and the Bucks. It's. I mean, it's Bullet Club. I mean, to be honest, like it's to me, it's like they're throwing up Bullet Club vomit. It's like this, like they're bad guys, they're heels, they're tough guys, and it's it's like it, to me, I'm, I, I feel like it only took y'all a like, year to turn to the bad guys. Like you guys are just it, like so that's and I think that's what it is. Like I was looking for them to be like the the good guys who who are there though they run it, but they're not like they don't let you know if they run it. I thought I was gonna run that way. It didn't, it no. didn't, like, you guys hit the Mr. McMahon button within the first two years yeah. of being open. And I was like, and it's, and the thing is, and again, I don't dislike the Bucks like that, but I'm not a fan of the storyline. Like, I don't get it. These yeah. guys are the tough guys. These guys are the scary stack team. And, and, and the thing is, that's not the way, I, in my opinion, they should have been promoted. It's like, yo, y'all have the, you are workhorses. Like, y'all are great yep. at that. Like, you could have ran it in a sense, like, it, you know what? It, it, even in the sense of if you if you want to do the whole heel run, you could have had it in a sense of more like how the Usos are. Like, yeah. the Usos got the Uso penitentiary. Like, yeah, it's tough, but we still like them. We still yeah. cheer for them because we know they're going to put on a show. So it's like, if that's what you want to do, do it like that. Because like you said, if you're trying to be tough and serious, I don't, first of all, y'all are five four. No one, I'm, and you got tassels on. I'm never going to take I'm you. I'm not, listen, I am not. Never I'm not going to be scared of you. I, I remember they were generation me, right? Wasn't that them? Yes. I, rem I remember them as that. So to come in here and I see you guys as this, like, I don't, like the character doesn't fit. Like if you guys, stood, I'm not saying they can't be heels, but the way they're being healed is like, I don't get it. It's like these, like, like you guys acting like the super kick is the most devastating move right. ever, and you guys are knocking out giants, giants with the with super kicks and and I just, and like to me, I just like the way they battle. For me, I always felt like the Bucks were people who would rely on like like agility and things like that. Now it's almost like they there were a few matches. I felt like they were trying to be the the powerhouse. That yeah. came like hitting hard tracks and all that. I'm like, but that that was never you guys. And it's, it's like, like that's not you. It, and and that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Like you guys are in his ring as if you guys are Lou Gallows. Like if that was Lou Gallows tossing people around to do it, I would believe that. Like if this was machine gun Carl Anderson, I would believe that. Yeah. Because those guys in New Japan really were like laying boys out for real. The magic killer really was laying boys out. I believe that. I don't believe it the same way with the Bucks. And I mean, again, I don't dislike the Bucks. I just don't like the heel character they're portraying right now. It doesn't, it doesn't pull me in. I'm bored with it already because mm -hmm. they are—they went from face to heel, face to heel. What happened to the FTR rivalry? That was like four years in the making, and it sucked. Even FTR is frustrated about it, and I'm just—it's, it, bro, it's—it's it's so it's too much there and not enough being written. Yeah. And it's like even in the simple in the simple phase of like everybody that's going on, it's like one, I I don't know what's main event. I don't know what's supposed to be nope. the big push. I don't know what's supposed to be the show stealer. I never we no one knows what's going on. Like I don't know that like, you know what's the sad part about it, even break even breaking it down now. You cannot tell me, and I don't, and if anyone can, you can please put it in the comments and break it down by division. Who's in what division battling for what belt? Like clearly Miro is TNT champion. He remained champion after the pay-per-view and stuff like that. Who's in that division? Name four contenders who you feel could be in there right now, real quick. Nate, can you can you name me four contenders for the AEW World Championship that is rarely there because Kenny Omega has what eighty three belts now wrapped around him, and I, I, I you know and again no 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 disrespect to it but it's just like that time we wanted to see Kenny is is done. 
at the time when it was just like, yo, if, if at any time this were you need to punch it, it would be now. That it, that's over. Uh, we saw yeah, Austin. Not- we already saw Austin. We already saw Austin do this stuff. We already seen him yeah. with the belt hunting stuff. I don't need to see it again. Yeah, because for me, like, I'm not a fan. Like for me, the belt collector, like, it's only it's only cool for so long for me. And you're holding these shows, and that's in reality, you're holding up Impact Wrestling at this yeah. current time right now with the storyline, because like he's not one of their guys. You guys got you got you got Rich Swan, you got Moose. You got Heath Miller over there. You got all these guys who do not, who are not even in contention for this belt because right now it's tied up on another channel with another company. And you guys are saying Brock Lesnar is was a douche. What? What? Look at what's going on right now, y'all. Objectively, look at what's going on right now. Like John Moxley has he well, he has what the the uh, the I the IGWP US title, right? Yeah. He, I, like, but he goes like, to defend he, it though. Yeah, he, he goes over there. It. Yeah. He defends it. When was the last? Yeah, bro, it's it, it, it it's it's too old all over the place. And even like right now, like if you were even to take everything that's going on now, and it's like we give it one more shot. We'll give it one more shot. It's like yo, develop everything currently that just happened at the double or nothing. Let that be your main show right now. Everything that happened with there. So from the um. What, what what were we from the one we were just talking about with uh, the Young Bucks? I need Young Bucks and FTR. Let's just let them go for the for the rest of the year. To be honest, yeah. Honestly, the way they the way it should have been built, really, and I know it would have been a slow build though, but it would have been worth it. Bucks FTR should have happened at double enough. It should have just happened right now. It should have just happened. Like it should have. It should like I don't not like, even for the titles, the, just to fight. Yeah. I just want to see the fight. Like, I felt like Pinnacle and like Inner Circle, like they blew through that. Like, my Inner Circle should have come back probably two weeks ago. They should have been gone for like two months, two, three months. Pinnacle should have been running wild to build this up. And they came back after what, two weeks? Two weeks. Three weeks? It's like, Jericho wasn't selling no injuries. Nothing. Nothing You went through, you you fell off of a, a, a sale onto the ramp yeah, and went through the ramp and at was your back age. at your age. Yeah, right. Let's, let's not forget Jericho about to be pressing 50. 50. And you were back next Wednesday. Yep. Talking about rehash- champagne, baby. Yeah. Re- rehashing the Austin stuff. Like the, the, the whole bubbly bad thing, guys, I don't, you guys can say a little bit of bubble all you want. That's Austin. That was Austin guys. All, it will all, always, it all will day. always, you're pulling, they keep pulling from attitude era subtly. I noticed it. People don't want to act like they did, but that, that's pulling from, that's pulling from attitude era, guys. Yeah. That was not, come on, that was Austin. And I mean, I'm, and Austin is a, Austin's a class act. He ain't going to even probably comment on it. But as fans that watched it, we know what, we know a remake when we see a remake. Oh, yeah. That was a remake. And, and a like, remake. and like, and I believe in like, in Inner Circle 1, this past Saturday. Like, I know Sammy Guevara got the win, but like, to me, we should have been building up since Sammy Guevara should be going up for the world title at this point. Bruh. But the, you who know is, what I mean? Like, he should who be is the though? World. Who is? And then it was like, yo, we, we, we saw, we saw Kenny Omega go up against Orange Cassidy and, um, I know his name is not Neville. Uh, what is he? Kurt? Pac? Is Pac, it, is uh, it Pac? Pac? Is yeah. it Pac? Yeah. Okay. Pac. Okay. Pac. Pac. Uh, yeah. Pac. Pac. Um, first of all, I hadn't seen him in forever. Um, yeah. and then to see Orange Cassidy in the match, I was like, dope, because he is a fan favorite. We we all yeah. like him. I'm just like, yo, I, yeah. I I never in my life have I seen someone not say nothing like that and be dope and, and get so over. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, like whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Yeah. But it's like that should have been built. It's like, yo, you put these three in a match for what? Like, first of all, yes, that's going to be a great match, but that's just no build up, no nothing, no return of Pac, no low, like just bam, we in here. And then Kenny goes over. It's like, where, then what? Like, what's going to happen after that? Like, now what? Like, who's in the next running now? Like, what happens? Like, I like, like, Hangman, like, like what? Like, I would have, if anything, I would have thought this would have been where, like, Hangman was fighting Kenny. 
The crowds are back. Wasn't that the whole, that was the whole bit before pandemic. That's what we left off at. These guys are tag champions. They broke up, had a falling out. They went after each other again. Omega got the win to go on to become world champion. So what happened to that? Right now, I think he's with Dark Order, but he's not. And I I, I don't like, and it's like he's, he was fighting Brian Cage, but then is Brian Cage a face? I thought Brian Cage is a heel. Brian Cage feuding with Team Taz. Is he in Team Taz or not? Hey, you guys remember Team Taz? What's going on with Team Taz? Ricky Stark is on the shelf right now. He's hurt, unfortunately. There's yep. Hook, who's Taz's son. We haven't developed anything past the fact that he's Taz's son. Taz is on commentary someday. Someday he's feuding with Christian Cage. Christian Cage, sometimes he's with them. Christian Cage has got to be with Max Fidel. I mean, where everything is everywhere right now. And to me, it's like, it shouldn't be that way. Like, you guys have plenty of, plenty of storylines, plenty of things to slow burn to make this happen. Like, and like something that they did with the, with the slow burn that I honestly, that I was a fan of. I was a big fan of Britt Baker winning their women's championship. Now, yes. I will say, she is, she's someone that they really have built up. But my, but I feel the, the downside is who does she feud with now? Right. Like, who's there? Like, you guys have not built up Nyla Road the way you should have. You gave, you gave Nyla Vicky Guerrero. And they keep, and you guys tell me, well, we gotta watch Dark. No, I no, I should not have to watch Dark to get this. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I don't need to watch SmackDown to understand Raw. Nope. So I should be able to watch this show and know what's going on. Yeah. I haven't seen Nyla Rose. Who, who is it? And, and, and they have talent. Like, yeah. like uh, Red, Red Velvet has, to me, like, has to me, has, has improved a lot to me since she first, since I first seen her on television. Yeah. You have her. You have the, uh, you have, the, um, what is that other girl? She just, she, she debuted with Shaq. You have her. Oh yeah, uh, and then the yeah. other the uh, the other chick from Brazil that was on NXT, uh, yes. NXT, I would say it wrong, but she's she's great in the ring. She yes, you have, the ring. yes, you have a uh, what's her name? She was uh, she was the uh, uh, Sarita D. You have yep. her like a vet. Yep, great in the ring. Kong, in the ring. Kong is still on the roster as well too. Kong is there. You have all these people that haven't been built up, and like now that I feel Britt is a great character they built up. I yes. enjoy her segments, and like her as a her as a face didn't work. Her as a heel. Phenomenal move. I love well, she, that. And she I was always that. like that. Like she, her and yeah. Adam Cole are like synonymous with like, yo, y'all yes. are heels. Like yes. stay that way. Yes. Don't change anything. That will always work for you because even yeah. if you do move into the the baby face realm, it'll still be yeah. kind of an Austin thing. You can still be an a hole, but people will just cheer for you. And that's and that's Britt Baker. Yeah, people like Britt Baker. We like Britt. I like her. I'm like yo like because it. like she she gets it. I've seen her do the work. I've seen her go through the stuff. Like you can tell, like she's in it. I'm here. I'm not here for the fame. I'm not here. I'm here because this is what I love to do, and I'm gonna build wherever I'm at. And you know she's something because WWE had to take that shot real quick with that Nia Jack clip. You know that you know that. Yeah, we go, we go, we go, quick. we go get to that. We go get into that. So that's why I want to. Uh, I do want to move forward and stuff like that. So uh, moving from congrats, to Britt uh, Baker. Congrats to Britt Baker on uh, um, winning the women's uh, AEW women's title and uh, the new belt that they they uh, uh, introduced and stuff like that. Uh, I do like it. It's a little bit bigger. You know, it, it look it looks like a real belt now, um, yeah. but. Yeah, but but just you know, talking about all of this, you know, kind of giving this criticism about double or nothing. Um, I wanted to touch on just a little bit before we get into that shade being thrown. Um, more shade has been thrown on, have been thrown on in regards to Cody Rhodes kind of being, uh, you know, criticized as the new Triple H. Yeah, yeah. Um, these um these these allegations I've I've heard all over the internet and uh. Uh, you know, and, and wrestling community has been saying that to me, I felt it's been there for a while, but it's always been able to be like rebuttaled with certain things. Well, but this, you know, he's he's not the same way. And it's like, and and I can get the criticism. And I, I think too, cause I like Cody. Cause yeah. I think, you know, I'm, and I, I don't want to be partial. I like Cody Rhodes. To me, he, he gives some of the best promos in the business. The promo he gave before, uh, before his match with Chris Jericho was one of the best promos I'd, I'd heard in years. And it's like, but to me, for for one, like I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of. Right now, I feel like Cody's on like the like a, like a, a, a rock schedule right now, like Hollywood rock schedule. Like mm -hmm. he's there and he leaves for a while. Like because I've seen again, I said last time, I've seen too many times they keep advertising the return of Cody Rhodes. It shouldn't be that many times. 
No. Like, like all these things, like he dr dramatically returns, like it gets less and less impactful every time you've done it. And you've done it like two or three times already. Yeah. You've only been around for two years. That's too many times already. Yeah. And it's like, I felt like this storyline could have been as simple as, you know, Nightmare Family versus Nightmare Factory. Like this is like more, more, more or less civil war. You know, and you got you got a young upstart Anthony Gogo, you know, QT Marshall against Cody and things like that. And I feel like it just for some reason it went into patriotism for, for out of nowhere. I don't know where this came from. And it's like and like I just it, it's it's like so it was like, okay, so we're gonna speak on equality, you know, ending racism and things like that. And like and I and like and patriotism in the you know the true American way. Equality for all. As you prepare to be up the black guy. Come on, Cody. Listen. Look at this on paper. I'm now. like, yo. Like, I'm like, no, this isn't. And like, and, and, thing, and like, and like, race, you know, should not always matter in these things like that. You book people how you want to book things like that. You know, book men, book women the right way. But for this one, I like, I felt like it just it went too many different ways. I didn't get like it should have been simple. Cody, these people are upset because because they feel like they're overlooked by you. And to a certain degree, with storyline, you could argue that because you leave. Mm -hmm. Come back, you're 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 EV, EP some weeks, other weeks you're on the 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 Go Big Show, you're in Hollywood. This like no, and actually argue, I felt like this wasn't needed. Like was this was this done because of Memorial Week and payoff? You know, just to kind of bring things back because we love Americana. I know we do. We do. We mm -hmm. love that in the states. And you know, Dusty's his dad, and I could get it, but I felt like doing something like adopting the moniker for one night only. This wasn't worth it. This wasn't it. For me, it's like it's, this. It's what rough. she would have done. I, I, yeah, yeah, and for me, I feel like like the fantasy booking in me. I felt like this was this could have been the loophole for Cody to challenge for the world title. Because remember, before he says, you "No, know, the you know the American Nightmare Cody can't challenge for the title, but the American Dream Cody Rhodes could." I felt like that could have been the loophole from the get the world title because I want him to be world champion. Because the whole point of him leaving was because we were frustrated because he was never world champion in WWE. Yeah. And like now in this other company, you mean so he ain't gonna be champion here either? He's my favorite wrestler. I, I mean, but that's <laughs> I mean, but that's the thing too, right? But that's the thing too, right there of it's a battle because you're the face of this company. And so not only are you the face, though, you're the one that still has to kind of run the company. So you have to go talk. You have to go do meetings. You have to be producing. You have to be pushing the brand. You have to be doing these commercials. You have to be shooting these videos. And it's like, work that into this. Like, yo, like, like how you said, the fantasy booking and myself, I would have never stepped in that ring for these first two years. I would have had you clamoring at me coming into the ring. You would have had to beg me to want to be in the ring. Now, I don't know egotistical shit, but just with the simple fact, I want that, to, I want everyone else to be built up. I need these characters developed. I need these people ready. So when for anything, I if if, if need be, if it, it when it is time for me to step up and it is time for me to step back in the ring, which I know people want to see, I have an angle now. I have an advantage to be able to do that. I know where I can fit myself in it rather than just being continuously put out here to try to push the show. And it's yeah. like, that's the thing that I think like Cody is trying to find that balance of, but it's very difficult because it's like, again, since you're in here, you still have to go off of what people want to see. Like, yo, and just like you said, we want to see you as world champion. Yeah, That's what we want to see. It's like, yo, my, I want to see you wearing the belt that you helped create. And I would love to see you take it off of Kenny Omega. I would love to see you fight Chris Jericho and defend your title. I would love to see you and John Moxley go at it. I would love to see you and Brian Cage do some stuff. Like it, it's like those are the things that we would like to see, and that is the thing of putting people in the right divisions, putting them in the right place and setting, creating these storylines and stuff like that, rather than trying to focus on. Darby and Sting doing some stuff with Scorpio Sky and a random wrestler that's not even a tag team together. I don't even know who it is. I keep forgetting that guy's name. I'm not even gonna be respectful. I don't even know. I don't even remember. But but it's like it, 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 again, it makes no sense, but we're gonna we're gonna get into that in the fantasy booking. But as far as like Cody Rose is concerned, it's like you you I, I will say it you're you have the passion 
and that creative prowess like Triple H. But I think the simple fact because of how the, the, the that stem of negativity that came from McMahon, you you are lacking that. Like people people tend to forget like, yo, Triple H had to be kind of whipped and beaten into that understanding. Like, you know, being fucking blackballed for three years and then doing yeah. like, you know, the the, pre the gentleman and stuff like that. But that helped mold him into a disciplined type thing. That's why even like something like to uh like what Bret Hart was even saying about him, like, oh, nobody would know you if it wasn't for your stepdad being there. Niggas, first of all, you can shut the fuck up because that is totally not true. I was like, hey, you have never ever gotten a pop like Triple H got when he tore his ACL and he came back. So I mean his quadriceps and came Listen. back. Yeah. So don't you ever, sir, I don't care again. I don't know if Bret Hart watches this. Don't you ever disrespect Paul Levesque like that ever again. Because because to me. Paul Levesque is one of the greatest. The, I'm people making mad. He's one of the one of the greatest working heels I've seen as a wrestling fan. Top five, like, top five goats. And I, five. I, I, I will just I will argue that till kingdom come. Mike and, skills, and, work, the workhorse development, loyalty and dedication, man. You get you can't show me too many people above him that has that. He knows how to pull the crowd. Do you remember the night after WrestleMania 17? when Austin and McMahon were in the ring and Hunter came out and the crowd thought he was about to lay Austin out. He came in with all the energy. I'm sick of this, I'm finna help The Rock. And he joined them. He's done that. He's had a so many times with that. Yes, all right, all the time. So how many, many how many, that. how many superstars' lives has he changed? Like we brought up Coffee yeah. Kingston's thing again. Like he could have been put in the obscurity had he not said the stuff he said. Yeah. Cause he had to pull him out that quick. And I tell people now without criticism, I wasn't a fan of the Booker T uh, storyline. I wanted Booker to get over, but that's a yeah, different story. But yeah. in comparison though, Triple H, like I said, he, he understood that and compared with, back with Cody, Hunter's, Hunter understood there was a time for him to be world champion. Yes. There was, he understood it. And there was a, there's a time for Cody too. And I feel what's happened is like now Cody's in this space that we like now he's in this space to the side where he can't be in the world title. So I feel like we have to add layers to make his storylines have more meaning and make it just as important as the world title storyline. But I feel in doing that, it convolutes it. It makes it overly complicated. Like this shouldn't have been complicated. It should have been complicated. Not at all. Like, like he, he came out dressed as Homelander and like that, like that character, you know, on that show, he's not exactly the American. <laughs> I was like, well, um, uh, what are you doing, Cody? What are you, I, I get, I get what you're trying to do, but what are you doing? But yeah, man. So, uh, but 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 that but only time can tell with that and every you know as far as like with Cody Rose is concerned. So, but we do have to keep moving forward, um, especially with again still staying within uh, you know the shade the shade of criticism. Um, looks like WWE may not be just so um, quiet as they kept when it comes to AEW. Um, Ooh, so. Oh. You know, uh, you know, last week we there was a very interesting video that was released um, yep. from WWE, and this was spotlighting Nia Jax and her powerful prowess in the ring. But it happened to be a, you know, what they call a squash match. And for those that don't know, a squash match is basically when you have a person that they are trying to push to become uh, either a crowd favorite or a, a, a very uh, hated heel. They'll have somebody that will basically kind of like get beat up and they will, you know, get overpowered so it can make them look better. Um, and this particular person that was having that assignment for Nia Jax is the now current AEW Women's Champion Britt Baker at the time that she was signed to WWE and this mm -hmm. happened coincidentally mm -hmm. to come out <laughs> a day before she wins the title um, at Double or Nothing this past Sunday. So shots fired or no? Chin do. Your opinion. To quote Cactus Jack, bang bang. Okay, of course it's shots fired. Definitely, definitely, man. <laughs> definitely knew. They definitely knew. Like definitely, and it's like, and to me, I looked at it. It was very cheeky. I liked it. I liked the shade because I look because I love those little. I love those little things in that whatever. And if anything, I'm sure Britt. I'm sure if anything, Britt Baker, it only makes you look even better, man. Because that that means they see you. 
Mm -hmm. That means we all, and we all see Britt Baker is, to me, honestly, like she, she's the star of the women's division. She is oh, yeah. uh, AW. It's her. Yeah. Like honestly, and I mean, and for again, that was like of that night. That was one of their best decisions to do that. And not, nothing against uh, Sheeta, but mm -hmm. I felt Britt Baker is way more over. She is way oh, more yeah, over yeah. than Sheeta is. So. But I think this will be a great, it, yeah. that'll be a great feud between the two of them. But it's just like, again, but her holding the belt, it does say yeah. a lot more. But I, yeah. man, I agree with you, man. One, just, you know, just from a logical standpoint, one, it came out too coincidental at the time this is about to happen. Two, yeah. it came out for someone who's not being pushed like that. Nia Jax is not like, there, there was no reason to highlight her this week. She didn't have at a all. highlighted week and no. anything. Like Shayna Baszler was the one that was going to be up wrestling, of course, like that, as we saw on Raw. So it was like, there was no reason. Because at first when I saw it, I was like, wait, is it Nia Jax's birthday or something? And I'm like, wait, well, why was this <laughs> made? <laughs> right. And I'm like, wait, well, why was this made? And I hadn't put two and two together. And then till I saw AEW, and I was like, wait, this chick, I was like, wait, this looks familiar. Because I had forgot Britt Baker had was in the WWE yeah. at one point. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, yeah, you see oh. how they be out there doing that, man. I was like, bro, that's I was like, I damn near feel like Triple H got this damn Instagram because that was some some cerebral assassin shit right there. I wonder, I wonder how Adam Cole felt about seeing that. <laughs> man, to be honest with you, I, I I feel like he probably thinking the same way you doing. It's like, yo, like y'all y'all taking notice. Like y'all got like I, there, there's no way you can't say that that wasn't that. Yeah. Because cause, cause the thing is, too, like, when it comes up to contract negotiations and all that, though, like, I want people to know, too, there are there are people who are unhappy in AW currently that would probably jump W and, and, and vice versa. Like, because I feel like the, the whole narrative is that everybody feels that AW is a safe haven. Everybody gets along there. Everything is great. I don't think so. No, I don't. I don't think that I'm, at all. I feel it's just like the other company. I feel it's the same. You know, a comp the company, the company is ups and downs, good, bad. I feel the same way. I'm, I'm happy AW's around because you know that means more wrestlers can work. Because I have a lot of friends in the industry, and it gives me it gives me an opportunity to work and make good money. Because you can't be real; they got money, y'all. I, I ain't be real. Then they got bread. I'm gonna tell you they got that bread now. Okay? They got them duggies. They got them. They, they got that bucket. Yeah, them boys like they're getting paid. Some of them folks are getting paid six figures. Some seven. Like, but, it, but it. But at what cost though? Because the thing is, it's like it, it's to be it's to be held. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like right now, there's no store. Like you said, like we, we talked about Aries Spears. Not Aries Spears. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm, you know, shout out to Aries. <laughs> Aries, shout out to uh, Aries. Shout out to Aries, though, man. <laughs> yeah, shout out to him. But, that, that, you know, uh, hella Aries. random. Uh, but, I, I, uh, but you know, fuck, Perfect 10. What's his name? I know it's Spears. Oh, Sean Spears. Spear. Sean, Sean Spear. Spear. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sean but, uh, yeah. But like for even someone like himself, like, yo, like, all of this potential when it first pop on, it's like, yo, we didn't see you until you came back now. And it's just like, yo, like how frustrating can that be? Because it's the same thing like you were in WWE. You just waiting. He came in and knocked the ish out of Cody with that chair. Bro, and, like, and we and was, was never seen again. Yeah, something like that, bro. You gotta put him in something that brutal. That was a brutal shot. And that like, was a brutal, know. like I'm yeah. here. Yeah. Give and me like, your honestly, title. Yeah, like to, when he hit, like to me, like it, I, I was nervous for Cody to come back. It was that, it was that hard. So, but that, like that's what could have had him exit, go continue yeah. to build the brand behind the scenes, let let yeah. Sean be there doing his thing and stuff like that. And it just would have been, it would have been dope. You know what else would be dope though? Just just the sidebar on this Britt Baker stuff, seeing as how she's champ and uh, that they've recently been released. Peyton Royce would be great between the two of them going Ooh, at it. Man. Those would be a, that, that would be a great rivalry. So I don't I know agree. if she's going to go all elite, yeah. but it makes sense for her too. It, it would make sense because because Peyton Royce, she gave a, that was a great promo. On oh, Raw, Raw, on that, at that Raw yeah. Talk? Oh, yeah, listen, man. Raw Talk is the show, y'all. And, and, I, I, and like, I know we didn't cover Raw in depth, guys, because, you know, because why we, why, why didn't we? Because we care about you guys. We don't want to put you through that, okay? Yeah. It gave you it. It was it was terrible. That's how that's what happened. So Raw talk, <laughs> Raw talk was great, and like she came up there and she talked about how she was held back of potential. How people thought how people thought she was. She said, "Give me Oscar," and she had a solid match with Oscar. Solid match. It and was shout solid. out to Oscar too for definitely 
putting putting her over on there and going at it with her. Like, yeah, that's one reason why yeah. I really respect Oscar. Like, it don't matter who she in the ring with, she got she, she gonna give you a show. It don't matter. Yep. Small small person, big person, Oscar gonna give you a show and she gonna give you that respect if you stepping in that ring. So hey, also big up to her. So I like I like Peyton and that. Unfortunately, it just happened to be at a time where they don't know what they want to do with the raw women's yeah. division. And so it's lost on that. Yeah. And everything. And so that's the bad part. But um yeah. I will I will say this as far as Raw. We're gonna we gonna just just a little recap about Raw because we do want to get into a little WWE talk. Um yeah. I'm gonna say this, and I just I i I just have to throw this out there, and this is no disrespect to this wrestler. Because I think this is a phenomenal. I think I think this is. I think they are a great wrestler or anything. So it's nothing towards them. But if Alexa Bliss win them tag titles with that dog, throw them tag team titles away. If and again, I, I, no disrespect to Alexa Bliss. I like. Yeah. I even like the angle that's happening right now. Yeah. But if she win them titles with that dog. And that's it. Like if that doll don't come to life and it's like another person with her, yeah, throw them tag titles yeah. away. Please. And again, to to Lexi, if you're if you're if you're seeing this, Lexi, 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 Lexi we is not you personally. Not to you personally. But, but seriously, that is a doll. And these, I like for me. I remember when Sasha Banks and Bailey were talking about these titles when they first won them. I remember that. And from there to win it with, a, 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 is it a voodoo, a voodoo queen, voodoo miss, voodoo queen, let's, and let's a not, doll. Let's let's not let's not put voodoo into this. I, let's not lump them. Let's not lump. Uh, let's not yeah, lump voodoo with this. That whatever they do it, they doing something. This is this is a spinoff of the fiend and the doll. And to me, like, I like Alexa Bliss. But what mm-hmm. pulls me out of this, and again, and like she has every right to be who she is in real life too. I'm not saying that at all. But as a fan. When I see her be real on Instagram and social media, it pulls me from this because I because it makes me like okay, this isn't, it's not the same. And, yeah. and I'm not saying, and she has every right to live her life though. But I'm saying I think because because social media though. But when I was a kid, you know, when you would see Undertaker and things like that, you, you never saw Undertaker as himself. Yeah. Well, I, that yeah, and that, and that's the thing with this show, you know, and that's why we call it this because you know, kayfabe has initially like you know it's went away. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's a yeah. that art is gone, and so like you said, and that is pure prime example. Like that's a that's a silver bullet in a debate if you wanted to talk about this. Like again, no disrespect to Lexi whatsoever. At man. All. Glad that she is engaged and stuff like that. That glad that she's happy. Like if you follow her story yeah. too and stuff like that, yeah. like it's really glad to she's see been, like yeah. she's in a been very good place yeah. in 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 her real life and stuff like that. So it's very good to see. But like you said, just the polar opposite on the show is this dark lost little girl yeah. who's been engulfed with evil powers and i'm just like that's dope then i see your instagram you're with mickey mouse ears yeah you're happy yeah <laughs> oh my God. this is weird this is weird because next monday you ain't gonna have no, no pupils and, and and black makeup and i'm just like i don't believe that <laughs> wait a minute Wait a minute! You can't be a part-time <laughs> a demon. You can't do that. You can't do that because, and I feel with Bray, like with the the, the Firefly Funhouse, what made it so great at first that we felt like it was his own world. Yeah, Alexa's playground is clearly a set. Yeah, it's clearly a set. So yeah. it's like, and then like that pulls from it too, and like she has a talk show more or less now. So it's like a, it's pretty much a moment of bliss. Yeah, except you just turn it into a, a playground. So like we know, so again, we know it's coming. We know it's here. Yeah. It's like it's outside. It's like yo. And then two, how is that gonna play when the, when the audience come back? Because like yeah. now you can't do all of that. So like, is she gonna go get her own set now? Like you know, yeah. does she take over Bray's thing? Like I, it, it, it's it's a whole bunch of stuff that's missing. Like it, it's like, and I felt like 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 why can't like is Nikki Cross gonna be the one to pull her out of this? Like what what is he? What is the end game? with this though because i don't know if they plan on keeping her like this for good but like i don't i mean like i for me because i i just I, I don't know where they go from here with it yeah well, it, 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 it's and, it's who she eyes like again like if it's the tag team I, I don't know why but it's really just who she eyes and stuff yeah. like that now if it would, like, would be dope 
with you know like you said nikki cross like nikki cross been winning this whole time and stuff like that what could be dope if it's because of alexa and that's been happening yeah like imagine if, that yeah that would be something good because i feel like it's just she's just there and like she's just kind of observing everything but i'm waiting because at first they were like well could it be charlotte i'm like okay they that could be something they they have they have a little bit of history you know but I feel like they have all the different pieces they could do like yeah. literally they could they could have made a Charlotte Dana Brooks storyline because there's at least history with that oh they yeah could have done that they could have done that and like all of that stuff like even even and like you say even like Mandy and Sonya and yeah, stuff like it's like right it's right there like all of that stuff is there and you know what and you know the best thing about it. It doesn't require tag team titles for a fucking company that don't have no tag teams. And the one tag team you had, you fired. Yes. Fam. Fam. You... You you let him win it at WrestleMania and that was great and then did nothing. I'm like, yo, you did not need that. Like you said, bro, women's TV title, women's yeah. intercontinental title. Something like, even even if you brought back the Divas title itself and made it into a story, let's say you brought back Eva Marie and she brought back the Divas title. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Even like, better, Carmella do it. And then split yes. the division between yes. Divas and Superstar. They're like, yo, I didn't hate being a Diva. Yeah, man, Will. Look what we are writing, bro. See, we see we, we yeah. jumped in the fantasy book it already, man. Like this is a good storyline, and I feel like because a lot of a lot of refs like the like the Bellas and things like that, they didn't mind it. They no. you know, and and that could be a good storyline, but they don't but then it can also be this 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 turn for divas. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't yeah. have to be the 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 bikini matches and stuff like that. It's just like, yo, I take pride in my appearance. I love looking good when I come down the ring. These are the things I take pride in and yeah. stuff like that. That's nothing to take away from them as women or anything that they're doing. It's just giving you more of a diversity when it comes to that. Like, yo, no, I like these glitz and glamour side. I like having my I like being served champagne. I like living that that flair lifestyle yeah and their show no different the real talk this to- told me but i think it ran for some se- uh, if it's not still on it ran for some season it's still on with people on there like yeah. lexa bliss has been on there uh dia Jax has been on there it's like yo let I them mean, show that side yeah and like it, it's so it's so many because i feel like they have so much talent there man it's so sonya deville is so cold and it really i understand you know because of everything she's going to be personal you know but it always makes me sad to, to not see her in the hunt for the women's title. But she's amazing on that mic. And, and she's rarely, good in that rarely, I rarely get to wrestle on, 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 on anything. I'm like, man. On, man that's a- but yeah, man. Um, <laughs> see, <laughs> it, it, right? I was like, yeah, click. But ho- hopefully, man, hopefully, you know, we, we'll see something coming, you know, a spark or something coming from the women's division and stuff like that. But um Hopefully, also too with that shade that was thrown at Britt Baker, uh, you know maybe that'll give them that little spark to get a little bit more creative on their side and stuff. So, uh, but like you say, that, that's what we we, we uh, got into Raw. We kind of gave like you know a Raw uh, Raw preview and stuff like that, a Raw review, I, I, I should I say. Um, and so the next one we want to get into was uh, Drew McIntyre, babyface, babyface yeah. Drew. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm in love with you guys. I feel like Drew Babyface, it was a great run, but I felt the pandemic derailed it, and it's just a really unfortunate. But I felt like them trying to stretch this out, I don't think he's going to get the, the reaction that they're hoping he's going to get. I think this is this is going to, he's kind of in a Roman-esque area. Same thing happened to Seth Rollins when he was facing Le- after he beat Lesnar. Like, he's just putting that space of like just the way he's been booked because now it's like he getting shot after shot after shot after shot like and now it's just like well now it's boring now I'm sick of seeing it and like to me <laughs> I'm just I'm tired of seeing Lashley and Drew McIntyre I'm sick of I really wanted Kofi to win and I knew he was gonna win but I wanted him to win because it's like you feel because to me I feel like Brock Lesnar is in the background somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. In the background yeah. somewhere. Yeah, just like, like um you 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 had mentioned 
um, something that I think that that was very interesting, uh, and I and I just wanted to throw this in there with the statement that you're making because you had made it. You had said that because um, we had said, you know, I don't know if Brock's going to come back because after our last show, you know, with Paul being attached to Roman, um, and now how you had mentioned he may be waiting for a live for, for you know a live audience again, and Paul had just stated, yeah, we will be in Houston. You never know who might show up never know so like you said he may be lurking because i feel like they need they need more players for the wwe division like like they need a damn brian out there they need more people because he, he's some i'm yeah, not the company more though but the way they have drew booked is like i'm not and i like drew mcintyre but i'm bored of seeing him go for this title because they haven't done any development he should have when he lost it that, that that last time, they should have sent him on a whole other journey. Like he really should have been feuding and exercising past demons, and mm -hmm. him and Sheamus should have been having it out with you know without Don't know why that's world fight. Yeah, like they were having good matches. I mean, like I I hate Keith Lee went off television though because that could have been a rivalry for him to go through. Yeah, I feel like maybe now he could have found his way back to the world title again though because it's. At this point, him winning it, he'll be a three-time WWE champion within two years. Yeah. Which like, is, how, like, which is just, okay. And then, too, it's like, I feel like history going to repeat itself again, in a way. And, and I just, I feel it coming for some reason. And it's, it's because, I don't know why, but I really feel like Bobby and Drew are going to fight in hell in a cell. Mm-hmm. You gonna hear Brock's music. Brock's gonna bust through that door again, like he did the last time when he came back. F five, both of them, and hold the title in the air. And then it's gonna go off. And now we got a triple threat match leading to either Money in the Bank, oh. SummerSlam. And oh. you, 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 you know why you stroking your forehead? Cause you know that's true. <laughs> You can yeah. feel it. Mm -hmm. You can feel somebody just wrote that uh, in the WWE office right yeah. now. I can feel Kevin Dunn saying, "This is a good idea." You can feel him. You can feel it, and it's and it and it's not. It's it not. really isn't. I love having Lashley as WWE champion, but like I do not like the women being there. No disrespect to them, but that's not who Lashley is. Lashley was all business, hurt business. All right, that was I the best like faction. It. Yeah. That was the best faction that they had, period, that's why, in a that's while. Why they, that's why they broke them up, because you know what the Hurt Business reminded everybody of. And you can't have that again. You can't yeah, have another nope. nation of domination. No. Nope. Yeah, there's all, no, all, and, they, and they had all the gold. Imagine if they would have added Ricochet as U.S. champion. That's where I thought that was going. I thought that I was, was going focused. there. And, and everybody knew that's where it was going. But that's why you can't do it. Yeah. Because one, and, and, and you know what, too, you know what, though? In a sense, I'm gonna be honest with you because I don't think they would have given the resources needed to do it. Um, as you can see with him being champion, you have no idea how to write for this character. Yeah. So I can only imagine what y'all might have tried to put in there for them to go through. Yeah. So it's just like, it's yo, I, I I see it, and then, but I'm still not accepting it. I still think that that's messed up. I still think that that's a problem. Yeah. Because of the simple fact that you don't have anybody that can develop for everyone and can look at that yeah. and be able to go and like, hey, I, it ain't even about skin tone. Like, I've never seen this. When I see him, I don't think women everywhere. I don't think that lifestyle. You don't, don't get called the almighty and you coming down the ring dancing and stuff like yeah. that still. Like, yeah, no. he's pretty much to me in terms of resume. He's the closest to be on par with Lesnar. Yeah. He went to legit sport. He went to Bellator and legit beat people. I think his record is better than Brock, isn't it? Yes, it is. Like, like so legit, like, like, like legit. I'm and people won't say this, and I'm gonna say it. Brock been ducked and dodged by me because of the simple fact of this right here. And this is prime example of how why I know Brock been dodging that fight. You remember Royal Rumble like three years ago when him and Braun went at it, when him and Braun Strowman yeah. went at it, and Braun hit Brock a little too hard, and Brock checked him in his in his face, and he didn't, and you know, again, you can't do nothing to the money. So yeah. Braun had to take that. 
Mm-hmm. And that completely like knocked down that whole monster among men thing. I'm like, wow, you just got checked. And we all yeah. saw it. Saw it. Yeah. Bobby has said, I right, bro, try that with me. Yeah. Try that with me. This whole Bobby match will stop. I am yeah. not playing that with you. You want to fight and, me? We'll fight. And and, and the thing too, and, and honestly, with, with Bobby and Brock, Bobby has to get over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He has bro, to get over. Like, yeah, I'm, that's that's yeah, it. That's and, the thing. And Brock ain't yeah. gonna have that happen. Yeah. Brock ain't gonna have it happen. Because at this stage in the game, although Bobby Lashley is in his mid forties, though he looks great. He's the champion. He's the guy they're trying to build. Lesnar has been there since two thousand two. All right, you've had all the moments, all the wins, all that you've retained at the Wrestle consecutive WrestleMania. You've been walked out. The time to put him over is now, and like I felt that's who he needs because I, like McIntyre over and over again is not gonna help. The men winning that time, I was like, God, y'all. They wrong y'all for that. To, they wrong like, for that. Okay, we, we can just touch on that for a second. We can. Y'all wrong for that. Y'all didn't have, like, anybody else could have took that. Miz didn't have to take that. Yeah. Like, we, Miz. like, you, you because y'all already, like, pe- people already be trying to talk down on his, on his, on his WWE title reign and stuff yep. like that because people still don't want to really give him that respect of coming from as a reality star to like legit what he is bro a wwe superstar and a future hall of famer like there ain't no argument about it there ain't no still no need to talk about it like yo that's who he is like yo my my 15 year old nephew w- do not know he was on the real world he nope. knows him for wrestling that man is a wrestler exactly. and an actor like yo like 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 miss us with that now that's who he is yeah. Can I talk that, because I, again, again, the promo he cut on Daniel Bryan on Talking Smack. Again, these shows are the ones y'all need to watch. Uh, when he walked okay. off, when that when DB walked yes. off, bro, I was like, yo, y'all yes. can't tell. Why is this man not fighting for the title? Why? Why is this man he not made, consistently fighting for the championship? He made the Intercontinental Championship mean something when he was holding it. That was the top belt. And he he held it as like as if it was, yep. defended it as if it was. And that's why, and like, that's why like, I see him. What has happened to him now? I'm glad he got to hold the belt again. But y'all know, y'all, y'all know that way. Because and you know, and the thing was, it was like we wanted to see that, and P and like y'all knew that. Like it was like yo, like I like because everybody kept going like, all right, Miz didn't been here. Miz Miz has passed that. Let's say peak out. Yeah. Let's say, let's say, let's say I'll put Miz at two o'clock, maybe 1 30 of his career, 1 30 p.m. That's still not bad. Yeah. But even for us, we, we, you know, that, that, that has those questions, especially like with him becoming a father, you know, him becoming a husband, him doing the shows, him doing movies, him producing, like you see him expanding where it's like, okay, you know, you're not needed as much in the ring. And we're okay with that, you know, because like, you know, when you when you rap with somebody, you definitely want to see them flourish. Like you hate to see any of your favorite athletes like bottom out after their career, they're not doing well. But it's like to see him like, yo, you're setting yourself up, I see that. But you also start to think of the questions like, yo, will, we, will he ever get like a title shot again? You know, yeah. can't, will we get to see Miz? headline another Wrestlemania. I'd love to see him talk that shit. I was like, yo, I'd love to see Miz win the Royal Rumble yeah. and had that whole run. And, but it's like, yeah. those are the, the, the type of things you think of. And so when you see him win money in the bank and it's like, uh-oh, are we going to get it? And yeah. it's like, oh, we got it. And then next week it's like, er? he, he lost it. Er? So quick. <laughs> like, like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then you had him running from Lashley, though. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. Miz deserves better than that. Yeah, Miz deserves like, better yeah. than that. Because I, I but again, like I don't it. mind it. Because you know, yeah, because yeah. you know, because it's Bobby. So that's why it's yeah. like I give the respect, but I also will say Miz deserves better than that. But I will say though, in 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 the cap in the trade off of that, and I will say that's very smart of Miz. He may have lost that title, but that man stole that show at WrestleMania. Hands down, oh, yeah, him and Bad Buddy, best match. Oh, that was a great, yes, it was. 
It was before we won though. I know we got Big E before we wrap. Mm-hmm. Many fantasy bookings. What I was, what I wanted when when Miz won Money in the Bank, I wanted him to cash in. No joke on Finn Balor. Oh, I wanted him to. So I wanted cool. him to cash in on Finn Balor and then hold that belt over them until a, a returning Daniel Bryan comes back to Yo, win that belt from him. That would have been hard. That I wanted be hard. that because because Daniel Bryan, like NXT, represents pure wrestling. Who is more pure wrestling than Daniel Bryan? Hold on, hold on, man. Let me, let me. Never won that belt. Can I take your stuff and paint it real quick, then? Let me give us yes. some detail. Let me give us yes. some details, man. Look, <laughs> NXT take over. My man Finn Balor retains the title against Kyle O'Reilly. They get. Here comes the whole, the whole trade, the whole setup with uh with uh, uh Adam Cole trades on him, super kick, and then here he comes Finn Balor and them start going at it. Finn Balor stands tall though, throws all of that out, and then it's just like lights go off, and then cut, come back on, and it's Vince like this. Final oh. cut. Oh. Hatch is in and tells him this is for the NAC title. Gets Finn up one more time, hits that DDT. Another final cut and takes the title. And then just you can see because you already see how Miz get cocky when he just and it goes off and he's just holding it like this. And then NX Ooh. yo, don't even come to NXT that following Wednesday. Promo Miz TV for the celebration of the new NXT champion, the Miz. And then let and then and then, and then let him have one one, of course, the rematch with Finn. Do Finn dirty, win that match, and then keep talking shit. He was like, yo, all of this talk of y'all pure wrestling and everything, nobody knows how to make a title more respectable than me. I took the Intercontinental Championship out of obscurity. I made anybody I'm with a champion. Nobody can do this better than me. And then here you here you go. Yes. And it's just here comes Daniel Bryan, and it's like, yo, that will erupt. And they have all this right there, y'all. They have all these people. It's all there. It's all there. I think so it's like literally, like, like you say, he, he comes in, surprises him, boom, skull question finale, boom, DDT, skull question finale, get boom. That is perfect because you would never, you would have never you seen would it coming. Never see it coming. Never. And that's how he can end that off. Look right at the camera as a little thing come at the bottom. You never saw it coming. Boom. And it goes off. Like, and then like, that's good booking. And speaking of that's, good booking and good pushes, what yeah. happened to Big East push? Man, so that, so of course, that's our, that's our final thing we wanted to get into. Big E. Big E splits, gets split from the New Day, remains on SmackDown during that draft uh, last year which we were kind of happy about because it's like, okay, push is about to happen. Intercontinental push comes, wins the title. I'm like, dope. Run is kind of like his first run. Just, all right, it's there. It's there, but you got a belt and it's just like, it it was kind of like the Shinsuke thing when he got the Intercontinental Championship. It's like, okay, what's happening? Like, what, what what are we doing? And now, you know, loses it to Apollo, but like never really lets go of the New Day thing. New music, new background, but no new gear. Still kind of that same link. And then you lost the title, was competing back and forth with him to get the title, but didn't, you know, is still attached to Apollo. Then Sammy gets back involved. Now Kevin Owens is involved. And yep. now it's mm-hmm. Kevin pushing for the title. Yep. And yep. Yep. Where's Big E? Yep. So do you remember when he won? Do you remember when he won it? Remember they had confetti, they had the whole locker room come out, put him on his shoulders, the balloon, all that, all that fell. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember all that. I was I, that's how I felt when he got it. I was like. Bro, very yes. I'm very yeah, I'm very certain Etor remembers. I'm sure he does. Oh, very and I'm oh, sure very sure we're wondering because for me, I'm like, so when is he gonna interrupt Roman's promo? Because that's what I've been waiting on. I mean, uh, hey, if we, if we hey, we we all, we've been tying fantasy booking in through through the whole episode yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So 
Let's talk about it. Yeah. So I'm like, because for me, like maybe they're waiting for the live crowds to come back. But I'm like, but honestly, I feel like Biggie, Biggie, Apollo Cruz, I feel it's done. Yes. Yes. Apollo Apollo Cruz won. Agreed. He, he won that few. He needs to move on. He needs to few somebody else. Biggie needs to move on to the universal title. Like Good same friends. way with Cesaro. Even if you don't have him win it off of Roman like that right away, he needs to be in that title picture. Like him, because I'm like he does not need to be an intercontinental. He's been in there too long. He is a main event person. He has the mic skills. He sells enough merch. He's over. They gave him. They gave him a doc. They gave him a twenty fourth day. The documentary thing. Yeah. I always feel when whenever they bring the cameras out to follow you around for what a year. Yeah, that's an almost investment. A year. Yeah, that's yeah. That's an investment. And 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 honestly, and like like uh, like you said before, you got on camera. You said uh, before on camera, he he has literally everything to be. And we're not trying to like make it about race. But he could be Black John Cena in terms of like that level, being that face, that yeah. person you push, that super baby face. Because like he, yeah. yeah. And even if he gets stale with the crowd, he can be. He knows how to turn heel. He knows how to do it. And, but it, I don't. I the thing is, I don't think it would get stale. Like we thought the New Day would get stale, and you know, like we really thought the New Day was gonna get stale. Yes. And so yeah. just like, and but it did. And and they found a way to continuously reinvent themselves to stay yep. up with the times. And so it's like, that's what Big E can do. I have no doubt that Big E can do that. Like there's yep, no, no doubt about it. Like I you can see it within him, but it's like you're 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 it, it, it's those it, the all the pieces are there, they're just not put together. One nope. one one thing is that I, uh, I I'm starting to see is that they're not letting Big E really, where, where am I trying to, get? like you said, they're not letting Big E lead. That's what it is. They're letting Big yep. E react. That's what yep. I've noticed. Like Big That's e, what it is. Big E re, it has moved in the, into the response of things that's happening. Yep. So like we got to see Apollo form into this new heel and we had to see Big E react to it. We haven't seen Big E step up to anything like that as a singles person. Because yeah. it was the same thing of even with Sami Zayn, it was him reacting to what Sami was doing. Yeah, and also too, and, and even, in, and honestly, and if you guys do not have a creative for him, you guys don't know what you're gonna do it on SmackDown, move him to Raw, because this is what you could have done, get fancy booking again. Just like he could still be with the New Day, but then a singles guy, they could have been feuding with the Hurt Business. Big E versus Bobby Lashley for the WWE title. They could have yep. had that. But and that would But there's more, but like you said though, going back though, there's more history. So it would have been even in the fantasy booking, would have made a lot more sense to even give us this back, add something to tie in that you also mentioned last time. Follow me on this in the fantasy booking. Big E comes out on SmackDown, calls out Roman Reigns. Like we like you've talked, like we've talked about. Y'all can correct us if we're wrong in the comments. I don't think Roman has ever beat Big E in singles competition or when they used to fight up and down with the New yeah. Day and the Shield. I don't think Roman has beaten Big E. I don't think one on one. I think you may be correct. I know they'll, uh, I know they'll, uh, they'll, you know, of course they'll ask me to comment the book. Like you said, I, that's a very good I point. Know. And they have yeah. so much history. They do. I don't, and, and, and if it hasn't been like the beating, thing, I don't think I'll, I'll put it in a more more laid out way. I don't think Roman has ever pinned Big E in, since they've ever yeah. crossed paths. I don't think they yeah. he's ever pinned Big E to pick up a victory. And yeah, so yeah. that's something he can do and call out. Come out yeah. and be like, yo, you talk all this stuff about can't nobody tell you ain't never beat me. So what and up? And then two, and but I, but not even this add in. It's easy to switch him to Raw, just like it's easy to switch the New Day back to SmackDown. Ain't gotta bring them back no. together though. Don't have to bring them back yeah. together. Do it just like now. We got Roman, Biggie, the Uso, New Day. That rival that don't never fail. Never that fail. Ever. The they, Bloodline versus the New Day. Yes. Oh my God! Come on, bro. Yeah, that's 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 a that's a six man tag match we want to see. I you know what? Real talk. They need to move them back to SmackDown. Because honestly, like on Raw, what are they doing on Raw? Nothing. Right 
Like since you lost to AJ and almost, I'm like, yo, y'all have nobody to face here. There's no y'all tag team with- that's here that yeah. I want to see you go against. They're feuding with a pretend tag team, RK Bro. That's pretty much setting up for when Randy turns on on Riddle. That's the slow burn, or either Riddle turns on Orton and does a surprise heel turn, something like that. But either way, that's not really a tag team guy. That's no. not. No, but what you but what you fine. but what you're doing though is on that one, you're you're doing the same thing you're doing with the women's tag division. You're taking people who you can't give a storyline to and making makeshift tags to keep them yeah. here. And yeah. that's the sad part about it. It's like, so what's gonna happen? Two makeshift tag teams about to fight one another for the tag yeah. titles? It's a fucking joke. Yeah. And that's a joke to the led the two legends that are in these tag teams, and that's a joke to the two new potential people that could be doing something else for themselves. But yeah. but just to, right. like you said, just to get back on to, to Big E with that, being able to have them go, and like you said, now it could have been where when that happens, New Day could have been the Raw Tag Team Champions, Usos could have been the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Now you gotta combine the tag titles. Man, bro. It is them two for who's gonna be the, the, uh, the universal Tag team champions, tag team champions. Oh, bro. And, and look, look, and like, and like, I know we said, I know we said B was gonna be the last topic though. But you brought the tag. <laughs> we were talking about this before we got. Listen, <laughs> I, think, I got, I, I, I got, I, I got a little more time. I can think. Okay. Bro, why, 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 why can we not just have one set of men's tag team titles and one set of women? If you're gonna have them, one set. They flow across all because you don't have enough teams across you this board. You don't. you don't have enough teams. And I and like I'm I'm very tired of seeing like the same thing. Like you felt I felt the first father-son tag team champions one that went like they could have been so much built to that through yeah. a real tournament. If they'd have really gone through a lot of teams, like imagine them really going through it. They went through what two teams to get it. Hey, and, and just like I used to say, like, and, and even to follow suit with something you got. Why do you not have a Dusty Rhodes classic on the primetime? Yeah. Then too, like we can see these other teams you trying to develop do that. Like we could have seen yeah. AJ and almost work together more. We could have seen yeah. RK bro work more. That's what you do with the Dusty thing to form new tags. If if yeah. this the route we're going, why are you not doing that on Raw? Why are you not doing that on SmackDown? Yeah. And again, like once once again, like I understand they want to get almost over. Why is AJ in a tag team? Why is why is it when you have an NXT division, you have Finn Balor and you have Shinsuke and you have AJ all under the same company, but he's in a tag team? Uh, well, I get I I will get for the simple fact of making him a Grand Slam champion because you know I, I know I know AJ is about the records and stuff like that. that so is, that, that is, and that did make yeah, and that did make him a Grand Slam champion. So and I was that definitely happy to see that because like we said, we we don't picture him being one. So it's just like, yeah. yo, I'm glad to see him get it in in this fact because this is probably the best fashion for it to happen. Yeah. And hey, so, well, like, hey, I, yeah, I mean, I, hey, do you remember last week on Raw when almost was chasing the lives the boy, <laughs> and they were saying, "Look how fast he's going," and that man was going so slow that Elias had to slow down from running to take the hit. <laughs> I was like, bro, um, what are you doing? And I'm like, like, like I didn't see it almost in real life, so I'm like, you move faster than that. What what's happening? But then almost too, what, really a big dude, y'all. Like he really is a big dude. Like, massive, yeah, massive. He, must, I, I love all that. Nothing against me personally at all. Mm-mm. But that's but also too, like, I can I, I can I can see from his standpoint too, because you got to remember too, if he kind of gain up speed, he take two steps and he catch a lies. Yeah. So I also yeah. kind of get that too, because it's just like, yeah. yo, let him extend them legs a little bit. It's like, yo, two steps. He's on one side of the ring post to the next. Like the dude is a giant. Yeah, it was the commentary that made it. That, that, right. That, I was that like, yo, like, just him, him saying say that. that. I was like, why? You didn't have to say that because, like, it's if he didn't, I would have. He's going so fast. I was like, he's he's, he's not. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Stop. That's why y'all yeah. got. That's why they had to switch the raw team commentary yeah that's why they have to stuff Man, like listen. that do you like the new guy <clears throat> huh <laughs> we want joe back like he he wasn't like he was better than the uh, adnan uh, adnan burke guy 
if I say his name wrong, I do apologize, but I was like, for me, like you, you had a good team already. I didn't understand the need to like, and you, you released Tom Phillips and, and Samoa Joe. Like I, I just, I just didn't get it. Like they were good together. Like, yeah, I, I enjoyed them. Yeah. And so Samoa I... Joe. <sighs> I'm sorry. As I try to get some out of my eye, I'm just, I'm just frustrated across the board. They it should, sucks. they should do, they should do that with his career. Like how you doing with your eye? Get, get whatever it is in there out of there because um yeah. i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest with you man i'm sick of it yep i'm sick of it man i don't Very frustrated and then too i i i, I you know too and let, let me ask you this let me ask you this Shane. and you take you tell me because i don't know if this is true or not but i always wonder was because you know the whole samoan thing and him not being a traditional one did that really hold him back? Because I remember that got brought up by Roman when they were like feuding. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, and it's, and it's like, it felt real. Like, you know, it normally, did. like, you, it, it felt, I was like, it did. Yo, like, are you really like firing off at him? Because I like had to go look at like where Samoa, like, who you were. I was like, well, no, you really are Samoa. Like, well, wait a minute. It's What's so happening? sad, too. It's so sad too that both Joes in real life, both Joes went at it at a main event, and because of the way Roman was booked, people walked out in that match. Remember that? Yeah. That was so sad. That was Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe. People were walking out in that match. That's how bad they booked that character and that feud. And like you said, like I feel, I feel this have something because he really is not a part of that family. Like this whole tree, and somehow he really is just not a part of it. Like you wonder, like it makes you wonder because I ain't gonna lie, like. I do know, you know, there. I'm, I'm not saying this happened, though, but they said they said there was rumors, rumor, only rumors. Yeah. They said, you know, rumors that, you know, that they know that, you know, being a lineage of the rock, you know, it does, it, it, it will not use some favor, allegedly. I ain't saying it's true or not. Oh, 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 oh. I, can, I, can, I can definitely answer that rumor for you. Oh, yes, it's very true. <laughs> you, if you are a part of the Anoas, you are pew, pew. You got it. Yeah. But you, but you also got to remember too. Had it not been for them, we would probably not have a WWF, WWE, yeah. all yeah. of that. Like they are yeah, that's very it. much a huge and even behind the scenes. Like again, so I'm going to respect kayfabe on that one and not give too many details from what people you know. If you because if you do kind of know, you know. But it's like yo, they are the other side of like today's wrestling industry and from what they've helped build today. And so that's why it's like from uh, High Chief Maya V, even be before him all the way down to now, it's like, yo, that's why you have to be taken care of because of what y'all done and what they continue to do. You know, like I can, I, I can, I can honestly say though, from all of them, everybody we've seen lineage wise from anybody, that is one family that when they come in, they don't disappoint. All of them. Every generation. Up. Yeah, none of them. None Every of them generation. half ass. None of them sit here and suck on the power teeth. They all come in and bust ass. Even if they, even if their character ain't strong, like even like to like even for instance, Tamina. Like you know, like Tamina ain't got the strongest character, but it's just like yo, Tamina still work hard. Tamina still busts her butt. She sits there. She will help people train to get over. And I'm so happy that she is. You know that she yeah. finally got a title. Yeah. In the, she made in a the, promo. She, she made a promo vignette that got deleted though. But when like it was a really good promo vignette that I think she made on her own. Mm -hmm. And WWE's like, nah, nah, but, but I mean it was amazing. She was in a straight jacket, showed her like unleashed. It was really good. Like you said too, but every generation is good. Nia Jack, you have yep. the Usos, Roman for that generation, and you have Rock, you have all the other people, Rikishi, everybody. Yep. It's like they they don't just they they really don't disappoint. And it's Yoko like Zuna. Yep. Even though they they build him as being what they, Japanese and a and a sumo wrestler, and I was like, what? what? I ain't never seen no 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 Japanese person with that skin tone. I ain't never nope. seen no one like that. I still don't get that one. I feel, and then they had him with Mr. Fuji and all this stuff. I was like, so what? I like y'all don't even look alike. Like nowhere near like in the same ethnic background yeah, whatsoever. Like, Again, it's like the little murky areas of, of, of WWE that we can't, you know. We got respect kayfabe, but we know what it is. Yeah, we know, we what, know it what it is. Yes, yeah. indeed. Uh, but yeah, but uh, that is gonna come to bring this uh, this episode of kayfabe to a close. As y'all know, 
Me and Jen can talk wrestling all day all for about day. three to 18 hours. And it'd be all new stuff. Yeah. It would not be the same yeah, conversation. Be, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. it would not, it would, it, would be something, it would be something else. And so that's why I'm always glad to be doing this stuff. And I'm always glad that y'all are checking this out here on the YouTube channel. Hopefully coming soon to all of Dev Sports as well. So make sure y'all continue to check us out each week. We are always coming here talking with the wrestling news for us, by us. So let us know in the comments what you thought about today's topics from Drew McIntyre, the Big E push, uh, the you know WWE with the Britt Baker shades, even double or nothing. And also too, something we'll get in for next time, WWE talking with New Japan. Oh, yes. We go yes. to Japan yes. next episode, yes. good sir. And I want you to get ready because what I want to know is your fantasy booking from New Japan and WWE. Oh, we I'm all over. Come on, I'm man. Rainmaker versus Tony John Kirk. Cena. Yeah. I'm just throwing yeah. that out there. We're just, just, yeah, just leaving man. that one just, just at the oh. end. It, it, by the way, Tony Khan is pissed. All right. Oh, 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 <laughs> hella man. Hella man. He's pissed. Yeah. Hella man. But y'all gonna have to wait for that on the next episode of K man. Thank y'all so much for checking it out. I have been Will Farrow. What you to do? And we will catch you next time.